Hi, I'm the Adobe Guy. Now today's tutorial is another one of the AutoCAD ones and I'm afraid this one's going to be a little bit longer than usual because what I'm going to cover here is how to create a block with an attribute and then how to use that attribute uh, along with the Lisp routine called Auto, uh, sorry, called Insert C um, so that the, the block numbering increases every time you insert the block. Uh, okay, so let's look at AutoCAD first of all and to start with I'm just going to make a simple block so I'm just going to make a simple shape and I'm going to define it as a a 10 by 8 block and I just did ZE there so Z enter E enter to zoom to the full extent okay now I'm going to actually create this as a block straight away so I come across here and I say create block from what I've got selected and I'm going to go through various things here. I'm going to call this 10 by 8 and I'm going to use a pick point as my uh, base point and I want it to delete this object from my screen once it's converted into, into a block and I want to open this in the block editor straight away because I want to do some other things to it like add attributes and I click OK and you may have noticed in the background there it just disappeared off my screen you'll certainly notice when we go back when we close the block editor now with this block here the first thing I want to do is I want to define an attribute So I click on there it asks me which attribute I want to define so I'm going to put a tag on this attribute and I'm going to call it number and I'm going to set the default number to zero it doesn't really matter what you set it to and what I could do is I could put in here enter part number um, just so that if you're doing it manually it tells you to enter the part number and you can enter the part number as you're going through it now it's important here that you actually change the the text height because I did a 10 by 8 if you're actually working in millimeters your text height is going to be so minuscule you're not going to be able to see it. Um, I'm just going to change this to 2 uh, and click OK. You see it's come up with a big number there but that's only because it's come up in the block editor. Once I save the block and then close the block editor once I insert that block it'll be numbered with whichever number I specify. So I go to insert it asks me which one I've got 10 by 8 I click OK and I put it in. It asks me which part number, I'm going to put in 25 and it's then numbered part number 25. If I then go to insert, same again, whereabouts there, enter part number 26 and enter. Now this is great if you're just doing a few, but if you're doing lots of complex blocks and you want them to automatically incrementally number. Then we combine this routine with something I loaded in a previous video which is called insert C. Now the C stands for count so it's a counter that's inserted onto the block. Um, so I just type in insert C and what number do I want to start at? Well I want to start at 27 because I've already got 25 and 26 there. I don't want a prefix or a suffix and the block scale and a steep stick to one for this and now I can select the block or name it and I'm going to choose to name it and the name is 10 by 8 and now what I do is I just click and it automatically incrementally numbers the blocks that I put in in my next video I'm going to show you how to actually extract the data from these and use the attributes to be shown in an Excel spreadsheet. I hope this has been really useful to you. I'm the Adobe Guy and thank you for watching.